Welcome back to another video. We are in a new set that is still a work of progress. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it so far down in the comments below. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks to help you guys prevent uh, Oculus Link from disconnecting from your PC. And luckily, all these are super, super easy. So without further ado, let's get right into the actual video. So I think this should go without saying, but you, you want to make sure that your PC is good enough to handle virtual reality. Now, assuming that you have a gaming PC that can handle VR, you wanna make sure that you have tried multiple cables, make sure they're 3.0 cables, and make sure the ports that you're plugging into are also 3.0 as well. You wanna make sure that you try all the ports on your PC that are blue, preferably the ones that are in the back. Those are the ones that are directly connected to your motherboard. You wanna make sure that you have USB power saving mode off, and you can check this by going to your device manager and right clicking on all of your USB 3.0 ports. You, you want to go to the power management on each of these USB devices and make sure you have the little box not checked. This is very important. So the next tip is you want to make sure that you have your power management actually to the performance. I don't know why this works, but for some users it has seemed to work. You wanna make sure you have USB selective turned off. You can do this by editing the power settings. Now, if you're on a pre-built or if your processor has an integrated graphics unit, you want to disable that. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because my PC does not have a iGPU. Now, the next tip is to make sure that your USB ports are up to date and you can do this by going to device manager, right clicking on your USB ports and then click update device. Now you want to search automatically on your PC. Mine are, are up to date and this will most likely be the case for you, but it doesn't hurt to check and make sure that your USBs are up to date. The, speaking of updating drivers, you want to make sure that your graphics card drivers are up to date. And you can do this by downloading the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you are an AMD user, it should be relatively the same uh, steps. Now, in some cases, you want to roll back to a previous version or ones that have worked before because newer drivers do have bugs and some of those bugs do affect Oculus Link. The next tip is something that has worked for me personally and that is disabling your firewall. And you can do this by going into your settings and uh, go to firewall and protection or whatever it has labeled on your PC and then disable it. Now the reason why this does this is because uh, sometimes your firewall will detect the Quest 2 as being suspicious. And of course in doing so, it will try to execute the connection between the device. Now, if this does not work, you wanna make sure that your Quest 2 and Rift software are on the same version, which in my case is version 46. For the PC, you just go to open up, you just go to the Access app, settings, general, and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see your version number there. Now for the Quest 2, you go to settings, about, and it should have your serial number and your version right next to each other. Now, if you are on the same version and none of these tips have worked, you wanna change the priority of your quest. And you can do this by going into your task manager and expanding it, scrolling all the way down to you see the Oculus server, right click on that, go to details, and then right click again on the Oculus server and then change the priority to real time. And the next and final option is getting yourself a powered USB hub. Now the difference between a, a powered USB hub and a regular USB hub is that the powered version does not rely on your motherboard's power in order to work basically, whereas a regular USB hub, it just plugs into your PC and you're still having to rely on your motherboard's power. Of course, this is going to definitely rely on how many things you have plugged in your PC, like a mouse, keyboard, speakers, all that takes away from your Oculus Link. So it is generally a good idea to have your Oculus Link to have its own sort of power supply while it's being plugged in. Hopefully you guys found something that will help you guys with the disconnection issues. That's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, you know what to do, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, try to check yourself. Peace.